I've built over 100 trading bots and I know the secret now. I know the secret they're not going to tell you. So I am going to tell you everything. I'm going to show you everything. My name is Moondev. I believe code is the great equalizer. That's why I do show you show everything here on my channel. And I will continue to do that here every single day. Today, we've got a lot of good stuff we want to go ahead and build. I've got a bunch of back tests I want to build. I've got a couple bots I want to build. I want to work on our Solana scanner. Our Solana scanner is doing really well. It's scanning the blockchain for new tokens. And I actually want to just dive in there. So before I get there, I want to tell you the secret because I don't want to hold this out from you. You can bounce after you hear the secret if you'd like. The secret is this. This is the process. This is the step-by-step -step process of how to automate your trading. Before I tell you, let me tell you how hard it was to learn this. This stuff was crazy hard to learn because the knowledge is hidden. It's not harder than anything else. It's in English. It's all readable, all watchable videos, step by step. You can learn it just like anything else. How do you automate your trading? How do you build trading bots? How did I go about building 100 plus trading bots? Well, the secret is quite simple now that I have it before everybody was gatekeeping it and now it's a step-by-step -step procedure now I had to go figure this out by myself spending a lot of time and money years on end but I'm here to show you every step of the way and this is the secret this is how you automate your trading this is how I built over a hundred trading bots and they weren't just bad bots I only build bots if they prove to be good so how do I automate my trading? It's simple. It's the RBI system. This procedure is something that I have dialed down over years and nobody else will ever tell you because it essentially is the it's the secret of algorithmic trading. It's the process. It's the process that people follow every single day. You're researching new strategies. You can watch YouTube videos, read papers, you know, talk with your friends, your group chats, all that good stuff. Come up with a trading strategy, but then you back test to see if that trading strategy works. If it worked in the past, then spend time on building a bot to trade small size. This is the secret, bro. Step by step. Now here, let me break down the secret even more. You research strategies constantly because if you find one winning strategy, it's not going to work forever. It might work for a long time. Sure. But you always want to be bringing in new strategies. Now, when you're work researching trading strategies, you might be researching strategies and coming up with TA strategies, technical analysis strategies. Now, there's both camps. Some people say TA doesn't work. Some say it does. I don't care. I don't care. All I do is I come up with the ideas and then I see if they worked in the past by back testing them. This is the secret, bro. Back test, back test, back test. Make sure that these strategies that you come up with, they worked in the past. If they work in the past, then they might work in the future. So essentially you might test 10 different strategies and find one or two that worked in the past. So you're saving so much time. You don't need to build a bot until you find winning strategies. This is the secret, bro. If you try to start automated trading and competing with me and you're just building bots, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. If you just jump right to the eye and you start building out bots, you're wasting your time. So if you're competing against me as an algorithmic trader and I'm focusing on the R and the B all the time, I have 40 hours a week, you have 40 hours a week. I'm finding more winning strategies. You're building infrastructure. I'm going to beat you every time. This is the secret. Research back test, research back test, research back test. Now, here's another secret that's going to be if you're already an automated trader, you already know this, but I know most people are not automated traders. So let me tell you another secret. While you're researching and back testing, you might be led to different types of strategies, different types of ways to pull alpha out of the market. So while you might be researching trading strategies per se, you might come up with an idea like our Solana sniper, that our Solana sniper is sniping new tokens off of the market that you can't even run a back test on. So if you indulge in this game, and you follow this process, this secret that I'm telling you, step by step, research, back test, implement. 
research, backtest, implement. A lot of people that are going to start algo trading, they're going to just start implementing bots and just waste all their time. Implement bot, losing bot, losing bot, losing bot, losing bot. You are going to research, backtest, research, backtest, research, backtest, research, backtest. Okay, found a winner. Now let me implement it to a bot or thought of a new idea based off of my research. Oh, I was researching on Twitter and somebody told me that, oh, Solana's popping off with all of these new tokens. Okay, boom, let me go ahead and build a Solana sniper. Everybody's looking on here for new Solana tokens. Let me buy, let me get the tokens based off of the blockchain. You see, see what I'm saying? You know the secret now, you know the path that I've been going on and it's been opening up so many doors. So feel free to join the bootcamp, join the discord, all that good stuff. If you're lost, the bootcamp shows you step by step how to automate your trading. You can see all of these people have a lot of good stuff to say about it. You can check out the link there. I don't really care if you join. This is just where I put all of my code and step by step videos because in these videos, I am literally coding my day because I don't have time to waste. I can't make YouTube videos. I'm sorry. I can just show you over my shoulder. And if you want to learn absolutely everything, it's in the bootcamp. So let's go ahead and jump onto Quant AI here and start working. We got a lot to do today. And uh, yeah, I want to build this out. So this one is scanning the chain, but we actually have something new today. So what we're going to do, what we're going to start with today is we're going to work on our work on Solana scanner. And then we're also going to um, review some of those 100 bots. So we'll do a little bit of bot review just because it's a beautiful Sunday and we we might as well do a little bit of a review every, you know, I don't know, six months or so. We'll do a little bit of a review. I'll make some little short, concise review videos so you can consume on your own time. I know I said I'm not a YouTuber, but I'm actually going on a trip here coming up for a few days. So I want to make sure to actually make a couple YouTube videos. Um, I know it's a little weird because I don't usually make YouTube videos, but I'll make a couple of them and it will be super helpful for you if you're here right now, because those videos are going to be short, concise, just going over code straight up. So that's going to be nice. Let me go ahead and open up a new file here and let's call this um, scanning I'm just going to put the date on it because I don't have a creative name. <laughs> soul 211 soul. Okay, so we're going to attempt to attempt to scan soul chain. Okay, and we're going to start coding here. Um, if you are if you're here hearing me, tap the like button because that's going to get us up to 20 likes and if we get up 20 likes, I'm going to kick it for a full hour today and show you absolutely everything on this weekend. We go hard every single day, no matter no matter what. If you say anything in the chat as well, if you say one word in the chat, I'm checking in on you at some point. So make sure you're here. Make sure you're engaged. Every single day we run towards our goals. Every single day I make sure all of the homies that put their name in the chat are going to get a little roll call here. And we're going to make sure that they're actually here. So we'll be checking in on you here soon. But if you put any comment in the chat at any time of the day, whether this is the live or the recording, I am going to put your name on this list and I see you every single day at 7 a.m. Eastern time if you want to automate your trading. If you don't, then do something else, B. So I'm going to keep that process up here for us so you can see exactly how to automate your trading. Let's go ahead and jump in my um, Discord real quick. I've got a couple good ideas here. And um, first things first, we want to import OS, import OS, import sys, import, and we'll go over all this. Don't worry. Asyncio, import login, and then from abstract util abstract utilities. Did I spell that wrong? Abstract utilities. Import safe read from abstract utilities. Might we need Pip install this? Let's go ahead and check it out. Utilities, is this it? Maybe, 
Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Let's hit in uh, terminal here. I used to, my things used to be colorful up here, and I'm, I don't know why, um, but they're not anymore, so it's a little confusing. So we want to configure login, configure login, say login.base, basic config, we'll say level equals login.info, that looks, oh, not all that. Login, login.info. good to me and we'll say logger equals login dot get logger passing the name and we'll say revert equals os dot get cw and then we'll say constants for directory paths we'll say web socket Directory equals os.path.dire name. Just like that. Thank you. AI, GitHub Copilot, unfiltered. Socket, soccer, data, dire equals. Equals that. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, AI. I appreciate you. So dar equals os.path.dar name and we'll pass in the WebSocket directory and then just sipping coffee. All right, so we got a little bit of code here. So, so far, we're just uh, setting up some starter code so we can now go ahead and scan the chizzy, the chain, the chain chain, because we want to keep getting more and more closer to the launch. Wow, look at OP. Is that a thing? Um, what's it called? OP? OP. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Let's go back to ETH here. I want to go ahead and we need to import some stuff. Some more stuff, actually. But before we do that, let's go ahead here and... Um, Go ahead and make another file actually. Actually, what should we do here? Should we make a new folder here? Yeah, let's make a new folder here because keep this a little cleaner. Um, let's say scan soul and then we're gonna say 211, put it in here. Just keep it a little cleaner, B, you know? Keep it a little cleaner. Excuse me. 
This mofo, I don't know why he blows his nose on camera, but I tried to walk away a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. So what we're going to do here is, um, come on, B. There we go. We're going to import a new file, but we have to make that new file. So I'm going to put it up here just because I think it like looks a little better here from new pairs, import, get web socket logs, web socket logs. Okay. So let's go ahead and put new pairs in here new pairs.py new pairs.py okay let's go ahead and code that out because that is needed dude well let's go ahead and finish out before we finish new pairs let's finish this code here because this might take a bit it might take a bit of time but we got time because time is irrelevant b time is irrelevant b so let's go ahead and say sys.path dot append and revert Let's say def secure secure delete and pass in file path uh, and we're gonna say securely delete a file login Success or failure. I know I didn't spell it right, but that's okay. So OS dot remove try. OS dot remove file path. Logger dot info delete file path. Thank you. And we'll say accept. Accept file not find accept file not found error. That sounds good to me. Then accept OS error as E. All right. Go ahead and tap that like button. Let's get it up to 20 likes today. If we can get up to 20 likes, I will show you. Some crazy stuff today. I will show you the craziest stuff in the world today because every single day we come up and do stuff crazier than yesterday, and yesterday was crazy, B. It was crazy, B. Every single day, people that sleep on the weekends, they lose. They lose. We here. We ain't going anywhere. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. All right, let's go ahead and run this file. Not run it, but async it. Async it. Async def filter web socket data. Okay. And we'll say process and delete web socket data file. Here we're going to say ensure the unfiltered socket data directory exists. Oh, snap. I better do that, huh? Let's keep mobbing. So we got we got a lot to do here today. So everything I do, I do what you do. 
Everything I do, I do with you, dude. I gotta keep Discord closed though. You know? Cause your boy get a little distracted here and there. Go ahead and tap the like button if you want to see all of this. I want to show you everything here today. This is crazy. We're filtering, uh, we're scanning through the Solana blockchain here, just trying to get a little closer to the source. The closer we can get to the source, the faster we get the data, and the faster we get the data, the better this thing gets, honestly, os.make, dyers, and then we're going to pass in the unfiltered, and then we'll say exist equals okay. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll say while true, try files equals get unfiltered files thank you get them for me please thank you thank you if files um for file name in files okay we'll say a file path equals os dot path dot join and we'll say unfiltered and then the file name yes that's right thank you shorty you are so good at your job. You are so good at your job. You're better than I. Is file and then pass in the file path. And then we'll say response. Response. Dictionary equals safe read. Safe read JSON. Pass in the file path. Okay. Then if response dict. Then we'll say, that's not it. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Don't play me, dude. AI, you are so, so fly. Get WebSocket logs. Thank you. And then we'll say response dictionary equals response dictionary. Okay. And then we'll say else down here, else logger. And we'll go over all this code. Don't worry debug no new friends no new files found in unfiltered socket data directory no new friends no new friends await we'll say async yo three seconds and then we'll go to the uh, try block line let's see try except except exception is e and then we'll say logger dot exception while filtering web socket data daters daters for the haters we're filtering the data for the haters. This is how you automate your trading B. All you gotta do is tap the like button and every single day I'm live, you will see me here, 7 a.m. Eastern. I'm not going anywhere. I don't care what day it is. I hope you're here. If your name's on this list, I will be checking in on you. If you post anything in the chat, please feel free to, but I'm gonna check in on you every single day. Every single day B, because I'm here, I hope you're here. I haven't even looked at the chat yet, but I really hope you're here. If your name is on that list, I hope you're here. West Coast, East Coast, or in Asia, doesn't matter. I don't care if it's 1 a.m., 4 a.m., or any a.m. If you aren't here, you get blocked. <laughs> you get blocked if you don't make it to the show.
You get blocked, B. All right, let's name this main. Let's go ahead and just rename this main, main.py main. So we can do this stupid little name is main thing if. Oh my God, that's not, that's way too much B equals main. That looks better. Did I really spell data with a, without the A? Without the A? Now I put an S on it? That's twice as nice. Get WebSocket logged. Get WebSocket data. Data. WebSocket data. That's Gucci now. Okay. Now we can save this file and we'll move on to the next one, dude. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one then. Let's go ahead and um, this is another little bit of one. So we got a little bit more coding to do, of course. I'll check in on the roll call here sometime soon. I don't know when, so don't go back to bed. If you're out there sleeping, don't be sleepy. Sleeper, no sleeping. Sleeper, no sleeping. Let's go ahead here and say def log splitter. Say logs, okay. And we'll say log strings equals none, okay. And then we'll say this uh, splits logs based on a list of keywords and returns indexes of logs containing those keywords, those keywords. Okay, and then we'll say param What happened to my thing did it did it end? This is fine. This is good. This is good enough. It's all we needed That's all we needed Let's say try Try block because this is gonna fail sometimes. If log strings is none, then we're gonna say log strings equals initialize 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 else log strings equals make list of log stringies okay and then we need to come down under here and say preparing regex oh I love regex pattern for efficient searching the pattern is r backslash b don't don't f this up b I'm already messing it up it's R backslash B thingy question mark thingy plus thingy okay dot join R E dot escape. I know I'm gonna mess something up here, but that's okay. Word for word in log strings, log strings. Okay. Plus R dingy, dingy, dingy backslash. B last thingy last thingy sorry if you're just listening bro Brian I'm sorry bro I don't know the names of these things so 
It is what it is. And I messed something up around here, around these parts. So let me go ahead and just backtrack here. I think I see it already. It's this thingy is not supposed to be here. Wait, no, that looks good. R. So R thingy backslash B quotes or not quote other thingy question mark thingy quote plus quote bar quote dot join thingy re dot escape thingy word for word in log strings thingy plus r R T backslash B. I have something up. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. I think I did, but I'm not going to look for it now. Found equals. Yeah, it looks like. We'll see. We'll see. For for index log in enumerate enumerate of logs we will go ahead and say matches matches equals re dot find all passing the pattern the log the re dot ignore case And then say for match and set of matches. Oh, the reason it was still giving me that error is because we're inside of a try block, I believe. I believe, dude. Ensure case insensitive matching retains original keyword case in and then original word equals next two two thingies word for word in log strings if word dot lower equals oops equals match dot lower match the lower match the lower match the lower match dot com match con the lower do me entiendes do me entiendes match the lore match dot com s the lore para viejos s verdad no se na no se na dot append index Dale, dale, dale. Let's keep going. And then we'll say logger dot debug. A lot of loggers up in this B, huh? Log splitter executed successfully. And then return found. Okay, thanks. Thank you. And now we're going to have the exception. The exception clause. The exception is here. We're back to the try. The try has been found and the accept has been bound to the endless game that we continue to play every single day. We jump on the computer and we find new alpha because my name is Moondev and I believe code is the great equalizer. If I can share this with you, dude, then you can do anything. 
anything that you want to because you see me doing new things every single day and I did not know how to do this before B. The thing is, is I just had a goal and I went after that goal viciously every single day and I figured it out. So now I come here and I show you every single way, every single way that you can do it too. And at the end of the day, of course, I want you to automate your trading because you're trading like a baboon right now. I'm sorry to break it to you, dude. I had to take a step back and pull my ego down too. It's hard to say that we're wrong. It's hard to say we're not good. Coming from a place that I try to be the best. You can't try to be the best if you're trying to trade by hand, dude. Because if you're trading by hand, dude, you know what's going to happen. You're going to chase these red bars. Well, you're actually going to get scared by these red bars because it's so, so scary thinking about losing a little bit of money that they keep printing. It's so, so scary. But it's it's us. It's being humans. Be, I get it. I get it. You buy right here and you sell right here. You buy right here and you sell right here. You sell right here and you buy right here. The thing is, is you know what you do wrong. It's just you can't control it. You can't control it in the game. While you're in the game, you can't control it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's why I set out on this path on how to automate my trading. And this was the fastest way in the world to learn how to code because I put my real cash down, B. And you pay attention to things you, you put your cash on. So that's that. I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you, but I'm gonna keep coding because this stuff is crazy. We're scanning the chain now. And last week we weren't able to scan the chain. So do you see that? Do you see the constant progression? It's just every single day. Keep keep waking up. Keep waking up. Keep going hard. Keep going hard. Process web socket logs and save relevant data. Just keep going hard, B every single day. Don't let those fools try to tell you, you can't do it. It sucks that it sucks that your family it might be those fools, you know? They they learn the same stuff we learned in school, how to be a, a slave, essentially. How to be a slave to the system. We're breaking out of the system every single day. You see me here. I haven't had a job in ever, B, because I did not say yes to what everybody else said yes to, dude. They told me to get a job. I said, I said, F you, B. I'm not getting no job. Teachers used to tell me that I, I wasn't my my kind of person was not welcome at this school. I had no future. Your kind is not welcome here. I, my whole life, I had people telling me that. Teachers, I thought that loved me. Teachers, I thought that loved me. Telling me my kind is not work. It's not gonna not gonna work here. You might as well transfer. Get the fuck out of here. B. Teachers and coaches and everybody tells you you can't do it. They want to keep you down. People want to keep you down. They want to tell you that the only way to make it is to go get a job. Go work at your nine to five. That soul sucking job, job is the only way you can do it. No, B. I wake up every single day. You see me here every single day, and I'm trying to bring you with me. I don't care if you have a job right now. That's fine. Pay those bills. That's fine. But if you don't want to do that anymore, just learn to code, dude, because then you can build absolutely anything you want to build. Anything you want to build. And in my opinion, for me and the position I'm in, if you got cash that you're trying to trade, then automating your trading is the best because if you're going to be trading, B, you already heard my rant about trading. Like, that's just gambling, dude. That's just gambling, dude. If you're not using a robot to make sure that you're actually doing your strategy, then you're just gambling. So if not is instance then we're going to say logger.air invalid response dictionary and then we'll pass back the um whatever we'll pass back the dictionary and then return okay what else kmos 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 check for errors 
in the response dictionary okay if get any value response dict er er if we get er is none then we're going to say log strings equals swap and transfer and um k mos k mos get pool oopsies get pool data initialize trace um lock burn lock burn time locked start open time open time nine 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 amm automated market maker init pc amount okay okay don't say it again dog don't say it again dog logs equals get any value okay then we'll pass in the response dict that said dictionary just to be clear to youtube when you're trying to transcribe and see if i'm saying bad words i said dictionary it's a dictionary i got a soft t i got a soft t and it plays with me b if logs then we're going to say found files found files equals log splitter that's why we built our log splitter passing the logs and we're gonna pass in the log strings okay then we'll say log strings one more time what's going on over here with the crypto over here distracting me looking making my eyes go to the right because things are moving fast moving fast but you can't trade it by hand dude and you know that dude that's why i'm here dude because i'm not trading by hand dude and if i show you absolutely everything dude then maybe you'll go ahead and do it too dude i'm just a regular i'm just a regular dummy signature signature string equals get any value and we'll pass in the response dictionary and the signature okay slot equals okay no not slow slot not slow slot get any value get any value okay we'll pass in the response dictionary okay we'll pass in the slot to okay found files oh what is found files found files we go ahead and the log data here log data okay and we'll say we'll just set that to the response data response dictionary the response dictionary and then we'll say block data block data f block f block f block f block f cash app f all that place don't use that don't use that don't use that do not use do not use cash app do not use cash app do not use square do not use any of that trash log messages data slot signature and we'll pass in the sig 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 signature string and then we'll also pass in the found files b don't forget about the found files i'm showing you absolutely everything please do tap that like button that's all I ask. I give, 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 give. All I do is give me. And all I ask, all I ask is please do tap that like button if you are enjoying me showing you absolutely everything on the journey to scanning the Solana blockchain for for gems B. For gems B. Look at this seven day P and L over here by this guy. 1.1. 1.1 1.08 m's these are m's we're going for b's but let's start with m's i don't just waste my time so that means if you jump on my live you know you're not wasting your time because you know i'm doing something huge i'm not doing little i'm not doing little things b 
Why would I spend my time on little things? You see who my competition is, B? Yes. Jim, Jim Simons is making billions of dollars and I'm not yet. So, what's that mean, dude? It means you got to keep going every single day till you get to where you need to go. So just do that. And then if you get there, you probably go ahead and move the goalposts and try to go further. And that's fine. It's fine with me, dude. It's every single day. Wake up, man. Wake up every single day and do your thing. It's all you got to do. Just focus, dude. All you got to do is just focus, dude. Every single day. Every single day I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. We're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. Zeldar from the planet, planet Zeldar. All right, let's go ahead and keep on moving here. Say F equals. Huge green bar, huge green bar, huge green bar, huge green bar in the bottom right, in the bottom right, huge green bar, we're going to the moon, huge green bar, wake up, look at that bar, thank you, I don't know why you're just listening, don't know why you're just listening, you just missed a huge green bar because of that. If you post anything in the chat, I'm always going to check in on you. I'm always going to call your name. I'm always going to make sure you're here with me because I'm not stopping. I hope you're not stopping, dude. I really hope. I really hope you never quit. Let me know what your goal is in the chat. Let me know what your goal is in the chat. I'm competing directly with Jim Simons. I'm going at his neck. I'm sorry, B. I'm going at his neck. We're coming for that boy. Don't be scared, Jim. Don't be scared. I don't mean that in the physical. Don't be scared now, dog. Don't sick him on me now. I ain't gonna hurt you. I might hurt your ego, though, letting a little brown boy come up in there and take that cash from you, Jimmy Jim. Let's put them on the screen. Let's put them on the screen so we can see who's the lunch we're trying to eat. Jim Simons. If you don't know who this is, this is our, uh, oh, he's 85, 30.7 billion net worth. Let me take that. Let me take that from you. Let me take that from you because I know your kids don't want it. Hey, Jim, if you're on here, let me be your successor because I'm coming for your head, boy. You might as well just give me the keys now because we're coming for it anyways. Coming for your head. Coming for your coming for your head. And just a disclaimer here, I am not making a death threat on Jim Simons. I am not. <laughs> just in case the feds is, is watching, I am not making a death claim on him. I am just going after his bag. I am just going after his bag viciously and building out the algos that he can't even think of, even though he's a mathematician. I don't care. I can be a mathematician too. It might take time, sure. But if I need it, I'll do it. If I need it, I'll do it. If you're here, say something in the chat. If you ever say something in the chat, you know I'm checking in on you every day. Every single day, dude. So we're going to safe dump file path. And then we're passing the file path. We're passing in the data. And we're actually going to pass in associated pairs. And we need to have the slot in there. 
slot and signature string k moss that's it though delete one of those okay and now we're actually pretty much done with this wow we're gonna go to the try block where the try block at dude is that right no is that right yes except i had to do a lean back for that one lean back lean back so that looks gucci to me save all right this is just a file that we needed for our other file and we are scanning this on blockchain how did we get here moon dev how did we get here for all the new people in the room how did we get here well we're automated traders we totally believe that if you remove emotions out of your trading you become a much better trader not only believe that i've built over 100 bots and i have proven that over and over and over again jim has proven that over and over and over again there's between me and jim me and jim are the best algo traders in the world <laughs> it's just moon dev and jim jim and moon jim and moon we go into the moon i'm gonna bring him with me because we're gonna pass him does he have a instagram for real for real good for him good for him i'm glad he's on there how many posts he's got not very many okay okay jim i see you on the I see you on the gram. I see you on the G, the IG. What you got? What you? What's your CTA right here? Okay. All right. Flex. Big flex. Big flex. Big flex. Thirty bill. Thirty bill. No worries. No worries. Not, it's only number fifty in the world, dog. Can't get higher. Psh. Okay. Coming at you. Coming at you. How many children you got? Okay. You got three children. That's okay with me. You're eighty-five years old. So I wonder who's current. Who's the current? Who's the current Jim Simons? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat because he's already retired, you know? George Soros, Soros, Mala, Mala be like, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Founder of Sergio Cap Partners. We're just putting our hit list up here. This is just a hit list. Who we're going after. Who we're competing with. I don't, I've never heard of Mala, but this is cool because I haven't heard of her. So, disruptive technologies, trading with uh, 1.8 billion. They start with 1.8 billion. Born in India. That's dope. Has reserved 100 million. 54, though. You could do this at any age. That's why I picked this industry. That's awesome. I don't think she's actually in the same thing, but um, that's awesome because I feel like we can play this game forever. Doesn't matter how old you are right now, dude. It doesn't matter. You don't know how old I am. You probably could tell, but you don't know how old I am exactly. But it doesn't matter because time is irrelevant. I'm going to be doing this time 85 at least. At least, dude. Why wouldn't I? This is the best game ever. For everybody that thinks crypto gaming is a thing, B, I ran a gaming company. Crypto gaming ain't a, it ain't a thing. Well, it is a thing. The thing is, it's already here, dude. It's trading, bro. You're trying to take advantage of the market. Everybody's obsessed with trading. Everybody's obsessed with finding the new altcoins. Crypto gaming is here and it's been here, B. All these mofos that are trying to put triangles in the circle slot are just so, so silly. This comes from a guy who ran a very big gaming company. The gaming is in the charts, B, and that's why I spend all of my time coding these algorithms. All of them because I'm a gamer, B. I understand that crypto gaming is here already. It's in the charts. You're trying to get alpha out of the market at all times, right? At all times. That's the best game in the world. Let me go ahead and get this last file in here. I'm going to do the roll call here in a second. Let me go ahead and code this last file out. Uh, make sure to put your name in the chat. Just say what's up. If you're already here, you see your name in there, then make sure to say you're here. Say, I'm checking in. I'm here with you, Moon. If you say, see your name there, I will be checking on you every single day, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Today, Monday, Tuesday. And we'll be back on... We'll be back on next Tuesday. I'm going to take a little time off. Actually, I got a little trip. I got to do a little wedding thing. I'm not getting married. Don't worry. Don't worry, but I got to go to one. So 
You're going to have a little time off, but it actually reminds me, we got to make a couple of those shorter videos today. Maybe later, maybe later, maybe later. All right, it's getting a little cold in here, so I'm going to turn off the air conditioning because I'm cold AF, but you already know I'm cold. I'm the coldest mofo out, B. Let's say, uh, what do we call it over here? I need to make this file now. Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. We gotta make one more file. We gotta make one more file. Oh, this is a shorty short too. It's a shorty. Shorty short. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's run it, B. What should we name this file, though? What should we name it? Call it main two. <laughs> ha! This mofo calling it main two because he has no original, no original ideas. He's not. He's got no ideas. Built a hundred bots with zero ideas for a name. A hundred bots and zero file name ideas. <laughs> Import OS. Import JSON. Import asyncio again. Asyncio. Asyncio. A sync your web sockets. Okay, import time, 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 time. Okay, done. Let's say login dot basic config. Login dot info. Okay, logger equals. I need to get her off my screen because I don't know who she is. We coming at here. We coming at Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Jim. We're gonna put you right with us. We're gonna put you right there. There we go. That's good. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes if I snatch your soul, B. Because we're coming. Get logger. Pass name. And then we'll say wallet addy. Wallet address equals. What is this one right here? Just going to do a little soul scan real quick. Soul scan. Soul scan. Soul scan. Scanning the soul. Gotta check the soul to see if the scan has been sold. Did you sell your soul? Oh, this is the radium liquidity pool, huh? I right, will put it in. Socket. URL. Yeah, it's gotta be that. It's gotta be that. It's gotta be that. Data dar equals os dot path path dot join and os dot path dot dar name and we'll say os dot path dot apps path and we'll say file. I'm gonna believe it. I'm gonna believe it. I'm going to tend to believe it. I'm going to believe it. Looks good to me. All right. We want to ensure. Ensure the data directory exists. So os.make dars. And we'll pass in the data directory here. I will be checking in on you in just a minute. So. Make sure you're up in here. Say something in the chat to make sure you're done your roll call for today. Anybody that posts in the chat gets put on the list and every single day. 
I call your name to make sure you're here. If you want accountability, there's nowhere on YouTube you can get accountability, dude. They don't care about you. I care about you, dude. I'm here for you every single day. Every single day. I don't care. I don't care how much we slept last night. That doesn't matter. Does not matter because we here. We go to bed early enough. We're responsible. Why are we so responsible? Because we got big dreams, B. We got big dreams. Everybody else has small dreams. They live for the weekend. I live for the weekdays. Because then everybody else is working. And they don't feel so bad for me. Oh my God, Moon Dev, I feel so bad for you. You work so much. This ain't work, B. You ever played Zelda before? That ain't work. That ain't work. That ain't work. This is a game. This is the this is crypto gaming, dude. They really they really think they're gonna get the games over to crypto. But I'm telling you, B, this is crypto gaming. This is the best game. They can't compete. They can't compete. All the little odd squad goons out there, they're like, oh my God, crypto gaming, yada, yada. Bro, this is the game. This is the game. <laughs> this is the game. B. This is the game. tell you the truth dude at least my truth am I always gonna be right no of course not of course not but I can tell you one thing and that one thing is I've built over a hundred bots now and I got the data and the data is telling me to keep on going spend every single second consumed with this stuff if you can't code anymore go read a book if you can't read a book anymore go watch an educational video if you can't watch any more educational videos close your eyes close your eyes close your eyes and see where the world takes you every single day close your eyes for 15 20 minutes 20 minutes that's all you just watch Moon Dev for three hours. All you gotta do is close your eyes for 20 seconds, dude. Your competition, Jim, you think he's closing his eyes? No, this mofo is not closing his eyes. He is not closing his eyes. He's not letting his mind go to places that they've never been. So if his mind has never been to places my mind has been to, your mind has been to because you close them then we can get to places he's never been. He only made 30.7 billion net worth. He's 80 years old. You think if I do this till I'm 80 and every single day, I show you every single, every single step of the way, you think there's, you think there's any chance we're not getting to 30 billion? And if I get to 30 billion, what's gonna happen to you, dude? You're gonna at least get to $3? Sheesh, I mean, your boy going going for 30 31 bill because Jim's at 30 and his I bet if I I, I I seen his blood I bet it would be red my blood is red what's the difference between me and him what's the difference dude put it in the chat if you can tell me the difference between me and Jim put it in the chat I'm just curious about that why can't I be there why can't I Please tell me, tell me why I'll put it, I'll write it down and I'll look at it every single morning. I will look at it. Every, tell me why I cannot beat Jim Simons. That is my competition. That's who I'm competing with. Who are you competing with? I know. Every single day I wake up, I'm going to put this man on my screen every single day. I'm going to put it in my background. I'm going to put it in my motherfucking, yeah, that's going to be my background. 
and put it on my phone. Just to remember. Just to remember this guy do it, I do it. There is no difference. The only difference is he chose to do it. Oh, snap. That isn't a difference because I chose to do it too. So every single day, dude, till we get there, I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be standing right here on this desk. Standing right here. I got one leg up. I'm typing json.loads. I'm scanning the chain. He didn't have he didn't have this. He he went to 37 30.7 bill without this. That's the thing, B. That's why we're in crypto because it's a new realm. It's a new world. The biggest in the world have never even seen what we're doing. They've never even seen the playground that we're playing in. You see this, man? We got so much opportunity ahead of us. That's why I share all this because I can't get it all myself. I cannot do it all myself. I can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get past Jim by myself. That's fine. But I can't execute every single idea on the way. So I just put it all here on YouTube because if I put it on YouTube, then you get to see everything, dude. And if you see everything, your mind is going to come up with different ideas than my mind. I don't have your brain. I don't have your experiences. So I can only take my mind to the places that my mind goes to based off of my experiences in my mind. But I'm curious about your mind. You Like I have phone calls with people all the time all the time from these YouTube videos. So people like you and I essentially, because if you're watching this video, you probably F with me. I F with you. I F with you heavy dog. So if you're watching my videos, I F with you heavy and I'm sure we'd be homies, but I talk to people all the time from this crew and every single phone call is with somebody that has different experiences and different ideas that I would never think about. That's crazy, right? Because we're all just like similar, but somebody's saying that right now, like I'm nothing like this idiot. <laughs> I'm nothing like you, you idiot. Somebody, I know somebody's saying they're like that, but for the people that are similar and they like to play in crypto and get an edge and constantly attack their goals, those people I talk to on the phone, man, they got some good ideas. They got some good ideas that I don't have. Because my mind is different than everybody's. So if I'm able to just like put my mind out here, you can laugh at me. That's fine. Oh, you can call me a loser. That's fine. He's coding all day. He's a coding monkey. That's fine. That's fine, dude. I've went down that path. I could hire coders too. I could scale up a team of 100 coders in probably less than 30 days, dude. That's fine. But for this stuff, I understand I understand how to outsource. I get it. I built businesses in the path. But for this stuff, do you really want to outsource your alpha? No, you can't outsource your alpha. Because if it's really alpha... Then the developer has the keys. The developer has the alpha. The alpha is in the developer. So either find yourself a teammate that can code for you and make sure you can trust them with your kids or just do it yourself, Do I'm showing you that I did it, so why can't you do it too? There's no reason, dude. Tell me why. Somebody tell me in the chat. Somebody tell me in the chat why I cannot why I can't surpass Jim Simons or Jim Simmons. I know it's Jim Simons, but I'll call him Jim Simmons. Oh my goodness. Except exception as E. I think this is about it though. Logger dot air. And then we're going to go over all this code so we can understand it. Web socket air and i'm gonna do the roll call here in just a second because we got done with a nice little coding sesh on a nice little sunday nice little sunday morning 
I know that always confuses people because they're like, holy smokes, it's not morning time anymore. That's probably because you're watching the replay, but if it's if it's currently 8.09 on the East Coast, you know this is not a replay. If it is not 8.09 on the East Coast, hmm, it's a replay, B. So YouTube allows us to do premieres, which are like, yo, I can watch this video with you. And I do watch the videos with you. Why? Because I am a professional, bro. And guess what we did in sports? You'd watch game film. You play a game. And then you'd watch your game film and you'd get better. So what do I do? I do these lives. I code them live. I kick it with you guys. I do the roll call. I make sure you're here. I'm here. I, you know I'm going to be here. I don't care how much sleep I got last night. I don't care. I said 7 a.m. I'm going to be here at 7 a.m. B. I do a little roll call in the mornings. Even in the afternoons, though, if I see you post in the chat, I put you on the roll call. I see you at 7 a.m. the next day. Why? Because you clicked on this video, B. You're the one who wants to build trading bots. I'm already doing it. I try to give you the system here in the bottom right. How do I automate my trading? The RBI system. You research strategies and you backtest those strategies, see if they work. If they work in the past, then implement them into a bot with small size to see if they work in the future. Because if they work in the past, it doesn't actually mean it's going to work in the future. It's just an indicator that it might work in the future. So if you run it in the future and it doesn't work, then you know it doesn't work. And then you stop it. You stop it with tiny size, right? So that's how you do it. That's the process to automate your trade. Research, backtest, implement. Put this man on your wall. Put this man on your wall and look at him every day and know he smokes at least two packs of cigarettes a day. He's 85 years old and he's got a net worth of $30 billion doing the literal system that I'm showing you here. I don't know if you've ever clicked on a YouTube video that is this valuable. Now, when you're researching, backtesting, and implementing, all that's going to happen is you're going to come up with more and more ideas. A lot of people don't believe in technical analysis when it comes to trading. I'm kind of in that camp. It doesn't matter to me, though, because I'm always researching, backtesting. If, if a strategy works with technical analysis, it works. But what's great about this is if you follow this procedure every single day, you're going to spend most of your time in this research and backtest phase. But guess what? You're going to think of crazy ideas like arbitrages. You're going to see holes in exchanges. You're going to come up with different ideas like this bot that we're building today which is a solana scanner that essentially snipes tokens before they even are on anybody's mind like if we look at this token here so random token it's up two thousand percent today bro that's crazy but it, the fully diluted market cap is 243,000. That's tiny. That's tiny. That's tiny. But guess what? You can't see it on bird's eye when it's under this. Like you might be able to see it at like 100,000. Sure. But we find it at like 1,000, 2,000. So by the time it's already 100x, by the time everybody's jumping in, it's already 100x, you know? And that's when, that's when this bot is going to get in. So if you just follow this procedure, this I know works. And it's going to un unlock so many other doors here that will allow you to just uh, crush it, B. Find new types of ideas and all this stuff. Wow, what a thumbnail, bro. I built 100 trading bots and know the secret. I do know the secret, dude. It's right here. I showed you the secret. The secret is to have somebody you're going... You have a... Have somebody that has done it before. I think that's number one. Know, know that somebody's done what you're trying to do before. They've automated their trading. Jim Simons has a net worth of $30.7 billion. He smokes two packs of cigarettes a day. Couldn't be more real of a person. Okay, I know I know he's a real person. Perfect. Moondev's on here. Does not have a net worth of $30 billion, but is going at Jim Simons' neck towards that $30 billion. Okay, there's another person doing it. Boom. You got two people doing this. You can look at all my YouTube videos and see every step of the way. Every single step of the way. I, I learned this stuff for probably a year and a half, maybe a year, a year and a half. And then I started making videos every single day because I was at a place that I could... I could actually articulate this stuff and show the actual step-by-step -step process of how to code it. So why wouldn't I do that? I truly believe code is the great equalizer. And I've been in the tech industry for my entire existence you know i've never had a job i've always launched businesses based off of tech and guess what this animal brain idiot over here went and hired people hired developers over and over again and i 
apologize for calling myself an idiot because that infers that anybody that hires is an idiot and that's not true. It's just, it's actually the better way to do it in my opinion to start. When you're getting started and you're trying to launch like an app business or a SaaS or something, start small, hire somebody for a couple grand, boom, boom, you get it up, prove it out, yada, yada. But for this stuff, when you're automating your trading, you wanna keep your edge to yourself. You wanna keep your strategy to yourself. So when you go hire a developer, you have to give them your strategy. Now that's not the worst thing. You know, when I was building like software and stuff, people were always scared of like giving their idea out to a developer and I bypassed that because I was like, okay, well, what else do I do? Not give my idea to somebody and not have a business? No, idiot. Everybody's scared of giving their ideas. The reason I'm really big on coding your own stuff is not necessarily because you're giving away your idea, but it's just never going to work the first time through. So you are actually going to need to research and backtest multiple strategies in order to find one that works. So if you're paying like, let's say two to five K per backtest to a developer and it takes you 10 backtests to find a winner, well, if it's 2K, that's 20K to find a winning strategy. And then you implement it into a bot and then it doesn't work. So the bot takes another five, 10 grand to build through a developer. So you see, you blew through 20K and then another 10K and the bot doesn't work. So that's 30K, that's a lot of money. So that's why you have to do this yourself because it's such an iterative process. You need to be able to always test things and it might just be a variable change. And if you don't know how to change a variable, which takes two seconds, you're going to end up paying money for it. And it's like no reason to do this stuff. You, long story short, I had to learn how to code in order to do this stuff. But now I've, I've got a built in edge that 99% of traders will think it's too hard to do, which is crazy because traders are traders. Traders are the most like uh, direct to the path. I want to turn $1 into $2. Okay, bro. If you actually want to turn $1 into $2, what do you think you need to do? Do you think you need to level up your trading skills or do you think you should add a new skill to your library that will set you apart from all traders? You see a room of a hundred traders and none of them know how to code. That means none of them know how to remove their emotions out of trading. That's absolutely crazy to me, B. That's why I share this stuff. You literally have people gambling their life savings every single day on these charts. And yes, I said gambling but they don't know how to code. So they don't know how to remove their emotions. So right off the bat, if you go ahead and you actually learn how to code out trading bots, I show you the way throughout this YouTube channel. I throw you, I throw you all the bones. You just have to go pick them up. Then you're not one of those 100 traders that, oh my God, coding is too hard for me to learn. I'm just going to sit here like a monkey, even though I'm super sophisticated and I'm going right for the cash. Nobody knows what I do as a trader because literally nobody cares about trading except us that are really interested in turning $1 to $2, $2 to $4, $4 to $8. The people that are the most sharp in the world are traders. Traders are, are geniuses. So if you're a trader, you're an absolute genius. You're, you're not like everybody else. You're not like everybody else. And you know that I know that it's such a small group of us who are traders and we all think alike. So it just kills my soul that like, you'll do absolutely everything. You'll do drop shipping. You'll uh, flip tickets. You'll, you'll buy and sell stuff on eBay. You'll set up a Shopify store, you'll set up Facebook ads, you'll, you'll do all of these things to make money so you can then go trade it, which are, all those things are hard. Like you had to go learn a new skill anyways, but then everybody like they're, you know, they're like, their nuts shrivel up when they think, oh my God, I, I got to learn how to code. I can't code even though I'm, I'm a unicorn over here. <laughs> Nobody in the world understands what traders do and why I'm so motivated by trading. I could do absolutely anything. I'm a beast. I know you're a beast, doc. That's why I make these videos. I know you're a beast because if you're a trader, you're absolute, you're vicious. I get it. I understand. I am you. Traders is straight to the cash. It's like, hey, F everything else. I don't need a business or any of this. I know I can buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. That's the quickest way to get cash, in my opinion. Now, you're losing money probably if you're trading by hand. If you're trading by hand, you're losing money because this is a slot machine. 
I'm from the slot world. I'll tell you that much. And this is a slot machine. I understand the slot mechanics, the ups and downs. Why do you think they're green? Why do you think the bars are green and red? It's to invoke emotion. That's the answer. So um, I'll jump in the chat now, do the little roll call here because I think we've been on for a while. I appreciate everybody here. Go ahead and smash that I like button. Make sure to smash that like button because we have dropped so many dimes today. I'm going to go ahead and check in on everybody. If you post anything in the chat ever, I am checking in on you every single day. I appreciate every single person in here. Go ahead and smash the F out that like button. If we get up to 40 likes, I will just keep on going. Today, we are building out our scanner to get to the actual chain. This has been a hard project, B. This has been a hard project, B. But we're going to get there. Let me go ahead and ask, or not ask. Let me see if there's any... Buddy who is checking in in the chizzy. Let's run this up to 40 likes here. And um, yeah, Brian's up in the house. What's up, Brian? How are you? How are you? Algo Trader is here. Algo Trader 77 is here. Josh Jansen is here. The Grand Rising GM GM Steve O is here. GM GM. Algo Trader 77 says, I'm making bots that trade on Hyper Liquid, which is a DEX because you taught me DEX is more safe. I agree. I guess I did teach you that because that's what I believe. I believe a DEX is more safe. I do most of my trade on Hyper Liquid or DYDX. Yes, I do, Algo Trader 77. GM Andre, good to see you back here, bro. Andrew, I haven't seen you before. I'm going to put you on the list. That's okay. You had a noob question. And if you have a noob question, that's fine. You you get put on the list. Keep coming back. You'll you'll be able to answer that question for yourself. He says, can you review some basic strategy to try code on your own? Something like to start with? Not in this video because this video is over the shoulder of what I'm actually doing here today. So I don't really make videos in the past. I showed you a ton of different videos, showed you step by step how to build out bots so go look at my other videos. If you need me to hold your hand from the absolute scratch, this boot camp shows you step by step across 15 days exactly how to automate your trading. I give you seven full algorithms so you can learn and build absolutely anything. The goal is to take whatever strategy that you have and automate it. And then any strategy you come up with for the rest of your life, you'll be able to automate it. You have full support. So if you have any questions, my team is in there to answer any questions in the Discord. And I am there as well. And not only that, the community that is in the Discord is crazy. You get connections for life with other algo traders. You can see some of the lessons here. I pretty much show you step by step how to automate your trading i give you seven algos that you can learn from so you can then figure out how to put any strategy in there you get a hundred percent money back guarantee always 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 you can see all of the people that have joined and have had success with this you can see the pricing and all that good stuff here uh, if you have any questions here's some more questions and answers essentially is good for absolute beginners but it's also good for experienced coders because we go over so so much you can see what everybody's saying about it, but yeah, that's that. So if you need me to uh, go from start, join the boot camp, or just you know, wander around my YouTube, there's so many videos, so many videos. I'll go Trader seventy seven. Said he just used how to, learned how to use MetaMask Good for you, bro. That's that's fire. That's fire, Josh Jansen. The accountability in these lives are for real, absolutely. Francisco, hey yo. Good to see you back. Marwin is back. Marwin is back. Marwin is back. Nah, nah, fell. I haven't seen you before, bro. Good to have you here. Nah, fell. Let's put you on the list every single day, 7 a.m. Eastern time. We will be here. Yes, every single day, 7 a.m. Eastern time. We will be here. Diego, I haven't seen you before. Let me go ahead and put you on the list. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do you share the scripts with your fam at the end of the stream? Yeah, I put it inside of the Discord, dude. Happy Hatred is in the house. He says, peeling the crust out my eyes. That's what I like to hear, dog. I got crust in my eyes, too. It's actually not even crust yet because I just woke up. It's still gooey. It's still gooey. 
See Yanda, I haven't seen you before. Let's go ahead and put you on the daily check-in list. I will see you tomorrow as well. Can I ask, do you use, do you use to take strategies from YouTube videos and back test them in final code? That's in my assistance video. Go check it out. Anthony's up in this B. He says GM everyone is 435 on a Sunday and I'm ready to get this knowledge. LFG, you know what that means. Mr. Duckets, you look new here. I'm gonna put you on that list every single day. We're gonna do the roll call. If you are if you're on this list and you haven't said what up in the chat, make sure to check in. I see you strive for greatness. Good to have you back, dog. Chris Countway. It says it's his first stream. Chris, you're on the list. I'm actually going to put you down as Countway because I like the name. Countway is on the list. Chris Countway. Jay is back. What up? What up? Sam Khan. Haven't seen you yet. He's trying to feed the fam. Let's go ahead and get him on the list. FS Trent is back in the house. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, dude. Side Dot is on the list. He's a new member every single day. If you put anything in the chat, I'm checking in on you every single day. So you better come back and check in or else you get blocked, B. You get blocked. Blocked. Sean Dowing. Sean Dowing wants to see my D size. Sean Dowing. He's on the list. Sean D for D size. Sean Dowing is on the list. Damien Devlon is back on the list. Haven't seen you before, dude. Good to have you here. Good to have you here, dude. Keith is in the house. Keith, I before E, Keith is in the house. Thoughts on Cash App, F Cash App. They're trash, trash, trash. I'm just kidding. I, I'm I'm not here to I'm, I'm not here to bash. I'm not here to bash Cash App and Square. I'm just I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. That. I have no reason. I got no reason. Brian says my green candles are blue and my red candles are brown. I'm colorblind as hell. I thought you were blind, B. You can't. Can are you colorblind or you be able to see a little bit? C.H. Kelly back in the house. I haven't even put you on the list yet, C.H. Kelly. Yes, I have. You're right there. What list? Oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal. You're not on the list. The list is here. These, this is the list. If you post anything in the chat, I'm checking in on you every single day. And if you come back every single day, you're going to see absolutely everything and know everything I know. So it's an accountability. And there's going to be a huge airdrop coming. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just having it with you. No airdrop, no airdrop, no lit, no airdrop for the list. No airdrop for the list. Absolutely no airdrop for the list. Oatmeal says, keep me off, bro. You're on it, bro. You're on the list. And if you don't show up tomorrow at 7 a.m., you're blocked from the channel. That's the list. The list is if you comment in the chat, I put you on the accountability list. And every single day we do a roll call. The live starts at 7 a.m. I don't know when I'm going to do the roll call. It just depends. Like this time, I don't know how long it took. An hour plus for me to do the roll call. If you say anything in the chat, you're on the list. Oatmeal says, keep me off, but you're on. You're on. I told you that's the rules. I don't make the rules. RK, you're on the list. You're on the list. Good to see you, dude. RK29, I'm going to put you as RK. RK is on the list. RK is on the list right next to Oatmeal. Oatmeal doesn't want to be on the list, but he's on the list because I don't make the rules, dude. I just execute. Look who we're competing with, bro. I can't do this alone. I can't do this without you. I need you here, dude. I need you here. This man got a net worth of $30 billion. How do you expect me to do this without you, dude? Omar, welcome to the list. Welcome to the stream. Oatmeal, Oatmeal says, you want it? No. Okay, you got it. Let's convert him. We converted him to the list. He's on the list now. Let's do the roll call. I haven't seen some people here. Are they sleeping? Did they go out last night? Did they go out last night? They can't wake up at 4 a.m.? They're up still from last night? I don't know. We'll see. Again, if you don't say hello, then I know you're not here. Okay? 
Everybody that's already said hello, I already remember you're here. Put my name on that list. Barnabas. 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 I'm always here, but I never knew about the list, Omar. I guess you haven't always been here then because you missed that. But you're on the list now. Don't worry about it. Good to have you here, dude. Let me just do a quick little roll call. Yo, Evalo. Evalo. Good to have you, bro. You're on the list. Evalo. Dan Tudor up here. Dan Tudor is still up from last night. He's up from last. I don't care. I don't care if you're up from last night or you're you're up in the morning. Just make sure you're on the stream at the time, or you get blocked. <laughs> could you imagine though if, if I could actually block you? Anyways, Rye Bear, where you at? I know I haven't heard you from you today. I don't know where you're at. Andre, I think you said what's up. Uh, Rich, I haven't seen Coden. I haven't seen Ingrid. Josh, I see you in there. Happy Hatred, I see you in there. Uh, Marcus, I haven't seen you today. Let me know where you're at. I think Brian's in there. Trent, I haven't seen you today. Kevin, where you at? Humza, where you at? Anthony. Anthony's in here. Oshkosh Aleko. I haven't seen Oshkosh Aleko in a minute. Joe Ram, where you at? I'm about to delete these people and block them. Memory Man. Tenchi. Atong, where you at? Dependencia. Jay Wu. Strive for greatness up in this B. Jordan. Don't know where you're at. Gene, where you at? Nate Dog, where you at? Wayne, where you at? Ozzy J. You see these people? You see these people? They're not showing up today. They're not showing up today. They get blocked and they're not coming. They're not coming with us. They're not coming with us. They're not coming with us. I'm sorry. If you don't show up, you get blocked, B. Fabster blocked. Don blocked. Khaled blocked. Andrew blocked. Obese blocked. K Kid blocked. Rich might have said what's up. Rabuil. I haven't seen you today, dude blocked. I will go trader 77 from Korea is up in this B. Math K is up in this B. TCB. I don't know. Francisco's up in this B. David's up in this B. Wayne, where you at, dog? Uh, where you at? Steve O. CH Kelly's up in here. Mr. Duckett's up in here. Pure Blood's up in here. Andrew, everybody here is up in here. So good to have you guys all here. Let's go ahead and dive right back into this. I just need to grab a little bit of water because I am just so excited today. We got so many big things.
I'm back. Good question, dog. Good question. Good question, Omar. Are you on the list, bro? Yeah, you're there. That's a good question. So Omar said, have you thought of making a bot for Forex and using it and get capital from prop firms? I don't trade Forex, but I, you know, all of this stuff should work for any type of market as markets are markets. To your second question and get capital from prop firms. I, I've got no reason to get capital from prop firms. I've got no reason to get capital from prop firms. So I'm sorry. Those prop firms need to get capital from me, B. No, I'm just kidding. But I, I just trade uh, I just tra trade personal capital and that is sufficient for me. Um, yeah, so that's why I don't I don't get capital from prop firms. I'm chilling, B. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, B. I'm chilling. So let me go ahead here and uh, let's get this going. Let's keep let's keep going with this. I want to I want to walk through all of this code that we just built here. Please, please walk me through all of the. Please take all of this code and send it back with notation of what each line does using so you can put can put it on each line then please tell what just happened please tell me how this code all works together it is three files so walk me through how they all interact file one let's go ahead and put it in here because then we can get all of the answers that we need. We went over a lot of code today so far. File two. We're trying to scan the Solana blockchain a little better than we are now. We have got a, a, a solid solution right now. File three. Omar says lowering your risk and maximizing your gains. I suppose so, but think it just depends on your your trading size and what you have one percent of one million monthly is a good number I agree 10% of one million is better though 10% of one million is a better number that's a better number B that's a better number so so um, I see I see what you're saying, dude, but I'm in no rush and I got enough. I've got enough. I've got enough cash to, to trade for myself and I don't have to listen to any of those prop firms. I can say F you, dude. Oh, you're a prop firm. Me too. Sick, dude. You got a milli. I'm going for a billy. Yeah, so prop firms are just like random dudes like you and I that hire that can't trade, that hire other people hoping that they can trade. So that's my competition. So I'm not really I don't need to like I don't need to work with them, fortunately. Um I know a lot of people will build these bots and then go like pass prop firm tests and whatnot. I don't know that world too well, but I'm trying to keep it um I'm trying to keep it to zero people telling me what to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't have any bosses or higher ups. And if I take money from a prop firm or a fund, or if I raise a fund, like then I got investors and I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that. That's why I keep closing this boot camp. I don't want any, I don't want any, uh, I don't want any, uh, obligations. <laughs> I don't want any, uh, anybody to report to. I don't want any bosses. I don't want any of that. So that's why I keep closing the boot camp. 
because it's growing too fast and there's too many people getting in, too many people getting my code and too many people like that kind of like I owe them something almost, right? Because I, I, you bought this boot camp from me, so now you're kind of a client. But I put the price so low that like, and the value so high, you know, I put every little step of the way of how to automate your trading and I give you all of my code that most people don't even like, don't even ask me questions because they're like, bro, he already gave me too much value. I can't take his time. And like, I'm just trying to, I, so I just like don't want any, uh, um, stakeholders essentially. So I, I don't want to take money from a prop firm. I don't want to raise a fund. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to focus on this stuff because I've got enough cash. And then when I get my algo to the place I want it to be, it's going to be so, so dirty. I mean, it's already proven to me that this is worth my time and I'm able to generate cash and alpha. So that's awesome. But when I get to a place where I'm able to manage my own cash and accelerate my way to this number, that's going to be great. And once we're at a cap, once I'm, once I'm capping out essentially, and I need more capital, then we talk about it. But, and we would talk about like some silent, silent investors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I ever raise the fund, you can't talk to me. You're not allowed to talk to me. Oh, you want you want you want me to algo trade your money? Well, I'm not gonna raise a fund ever. And if I did, you can't talk to me. <laughs> you can't have any of my time be. This is my time, and I give it to as many people as possible. This is the only way to do it. Because I have, you know, there's 30 people on here right now. I've got 30 DMs on my Discord that I haven't responded to because I can't. I just can't do it, dude. I can't do it. I got to keep my brain focused. I can't answer how do you pip install something. I can't answer Googleable questions. Don't hit me. Don't tag me. Don't tag me in the Discord, bro. If you tag me in the Discord for a question you could have asked on Google or ChatGBT, I'm blocking you. I'm kicking you out. I'm kicking you out of the Discord. I'm kicking you out of my chat. I'm kicking you out of my YouTube. I'm kicking you out of the boot camp. I don't care. This is not a... This is not the, this is not a, like, a, what do you call it? It's not a democracy, bro. <laughs> literally, I'm, literally, I'm, I'm out here giving you everything, every step of the way, all the code I do. And then somebody asks me, like, yo, I don't know how to pip install this. And it's like, okay, bro, you can ask any question in the chat. Please do. We have it. We have a question, like a code help section. I understand everybody is new, right? Or like everybody's at their own pace. So we do have a section in the chat that my team and I are in. But don't tag me. Don't tag me if it's a noob question. If it's like I can't pip install something. If you tag me, I will. I will. I. The things I will do, dude. The things I will do. I will block you. I will block you. And make sure everybody else blocks you too why because like i need to spend my time here i gotta i gotta keep my my brain going forward you know we're we're scanning the chain now last week we couldn't do this three weeks ago or a month ago we weren't able to get working with ai to have ai code for us you know so it's a disclaimer i know it's tough wayne it's a cruel world it's a cruel world but it's a cruel world just don't don't tag me for some stupid stuff And the rant. Let me go ahead and get this going. Rant and. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Because we just coded all of it. All right, so let's go through each file, annotating what each line does, and then we'll explain how they all work together. Okay, this is file one, I believe. Okay. 
and I think this should be, let's make sure it doesn't make any changes here. Login, that looks good. WebSocket, that looks Gucci. But sometimes they be playing, you know? This looks like it did not change anything, which is great. So I'm gonna copy this in and put it in there. Let's put it in B. Just slide it in slow. Just the tip. All right. The annotations, file two annotations. So file one was, oh, I'm, I'm dumb, I'm slow. Your boy slow. What was file two though? The wallet one, mean two, okay. Paste that in. So this is gonna have all the notes on it so we can really understand what we just coded. Continue generation always, please, thank you. Algo Trader says he has a warm heart, but maybe two hearts exactly. That could be true, bro. I might be two different people, to be honest. That might be true. I think I do have a warm heart, but I'm cold-blooded. I got a warm heart, but I'm cold-blooded, B. I'm cold-blooded. It's just the energy, bro. I wish I could sit there and I could respond to every single person. I really do. I try, actually. I, I respond to a lot of people. But um, I got a warm heart. I'm just cold-blooded, dog. When I'm competing with this man right here, I can't, I can't, I cannot answer stupid questions. Not stupid questions. They're not stupid questions. They're not stupid questions. They're just like, if you haven't tried to answer it yourself first, I can't help you. I cannot help you. But that's why we got a team. We got people that are more patient than myself. Because myself, cold-blooded be. I'm cold-blooded, B. I'm sorry. I got to be cold-blooded. You think this man is not cold-blooded? Warm heart, cold blood. All right, so how do code work together? File one. Let's actually go ahead and build a readme because we're going to need this forever. And we're just going to go ahead and put that in the readme. Readme.md. Readme.md, okay. What the heck did I just put in, dude? That ain't it. How the code works together. How the code works together, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and save it like that, okay. What is this, dog? This is the MD, right? Okay, so how the code works together. So file one import OS, etc. This script is responsible for processing and deleting unfiltered WebSocket data files. It uses an infinite loop to continuously check for new files in a designated directory. Process them using a custom function, safe read from JSON, and then pass the data to another custom function. Get WebSocket data for further processing. File two, this script connects to a WebSocket server in this case, a Solana blockchain node subscribes to a certain type of logs using a filter that includes a specific wallet address and then continuously receives and saves the incoming data to unfiltered data files in a specific directory. It uses an asynchronous loop to handle the WebSocket connection and data reception. File three functions logger split and get websocket logs this file contains functions to process the raw websocket log data the logs log splitter function filters the logs based on specific keywords and get websocket logs processes to the logs to extract relevant information possibly filtering for certain events like swaps transfers etc it then saves the process data for further analysis or use. Interaction file two is the entry point where WebSocket data is received and saved to files. 
file one periodically checks the directory for new files created by file two reads them processes the data and deletes the files the process data from file one is passed to file three via the get websocket logs function and imported in file one which further processes the data based on specific criteria and then saves the results for further use the overall flow is a pipeline where raw websocket data is collected stored temporarily processed for relevant information and then processed data is stored or used for further analysis or operations this setup is common in data processing applications where real time or near real time data is collected filtered and analyzed okay 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 TCF, you're missing the point, B. You're missing the point, B. Wayne, um, I'm curious. And TCF, I couldn't be more transparent. I'm just not trying to attract people by showing off the cash because then everybody thinks they get rich quick and then people think they can just run my bots. So I'll never talk about money. I'm sorry. The only money I'll talk about is Jim Simon's money because I know he's there and I know where I'm at and I don't know where you're at don't know your trading size i don't know your risk i don't know your work ethic i don't know any of that stuff so that's why i'm not one of those youtubers that leads with cash i will never ever ever lead with money i'll never say hey use this trading bot and make a million dollars this stuff is hard b this stuff is hard i'll give you the procedure and only reason i'm responding to this comment is because you say transparency and that's i just feel like i'm the most transparent person in the world like i literally show you the hardest stuff so it's just like kind of discouraging when everybody comes at me for not leading with money and not showing off charts and whatnot of pinot curves i can do that i can do that if i want to pivot that way i i probably the problem is i'm gonna attract tons of people into the boot camp. The boot camp is where I teach you step by step how to automate your trading and take whatever strategy you have. And that's like the biggest reason is like if I start leading with money and saying like, hey, I make X X X dollars per year off this trading bot, then everything changes. Because now I'm getting people to jump in the boot camp to use my trading bot. But I know for a fact that trading bots do not work if everybody's running the same one. So my whole thesis is here that I can show you every step of the way that I personally am taking all the algos I'm building and then you can learn from that. And the whole point of the boot camp is to have your strategy. So me leading with cash has no benefit to me except for no there's no benefit because if I tell you the dollars that are made versus a bot then you're like okay where's that bot at let me run it and then it's like okay it's not going to work if we all run it and then on top of that you're probably going to give up on the bot if it's in a drawdown and what if it it's supposed to go through that drawdown well you don't know that because you never back tested it so <sighs> yeah that's like the whole reason i don't lead with cash b i don't lead with the money and like i can clickbait you guys all day long if i led with money and it wouldn't be clickbait, you know, it's like I can I can put up like, hey, make this much money. Off. I made this much money in the last 30 days off of my bots. But then I get everybody coming in here and saying like, OK, let me have those bots. Let me run them. It's like, be please. You think anybody's going to just give you 
give you cash like that <laughs> that's literally asking like oh let me get your atm that has unlimited withdrawal fee unlimited withdrawals you can see the price of the boot camp is not like it does not infer a money printer <laughs> you know you got to put the work in and put your strategy in so long story short if your strategy is profitable this boot camp will be profitable if you don't have a profitable strategy, then it's not going to be profitable. And the whole algo trading is not going to be profitable. Automating a, a strategy that doesn't work for you uh, by hand isn't going to work for you bots. But, you know, I can I can give you all the tools, show you exactly the procedure that I've I've worked on for years and years to refine, to make it easy to find working strategies and then to prove that they're working. So I always recommend people spend their time here in the R and the B phase where you're researching strategies and back testing because then you'll have like, let's say 10 working strategies in the past. If they worked in the past doesn't mean they're gonna work in the future, but they're much more likely. So you take those 10 working strategies, quote unquote, and then you go ahead and you run them with small size and then you'll see, oh, it was working in the past, but it wasn't working in the future and that's, that's fine. Because you, you have 10 working strategies. And if I were to he, be here saying like, yo, I made a million dollars last month off this bot. Then everybody comes in. They're like, yo, let me run that bot. Bro, you just paid $69. You think I'm going to give you a bot that made me a million dollars last month? <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, that's why I'm never going to go down that route. Of course, I could blow up this YouTube channel and probably have a million subscribers right now if I went down that route. But I don't want to be a YouTuber. I'm just literally here because i know for a fact there's other people in my position that have been trading and they lose money because of their emotions and they lose money because they're they miss trades because they have a life right so i'm just trying to do as much as i can and i i'm, I'm not i still don't know how to like fully explain that situation when people ask like yo show me your returns show me your profits is like, no, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to lead with that. I'm sorry. If you don't like it, then it's, it is what it is. It's just a little discouraging all the time when people are like, oh, this doesn't even work. He won't show his returns. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, B. That's fine. It's a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't love what you learn and you don't learn exactly how to automate your trading, you get your money back. 69 bucks, bro. Get off my D. But yeah, that's the, I don't know how to approach that in the kindest way. I, I wanna be kind with it. Um, I, I understand the question. Um, but on my side, I try not to like lead, lead with the money in the titles or, or the, the screenshots or anything just so I set the expectations and I try to be super transparent through all of my marketing that this is all about your strategy and putting in your strategy and that's all I can really do but if you guys have suggestions please do let me know um, if I was like if I was promoted like if my marketing was all about like hey make a you know six figures per year off this or a million dollars per year or hundred thousand dollars per month if I had any of that marketing then that's a fair question. Otherwise, like, let me know. Let me know in the chat. Like, how would you approach this? Like, I don't want this to ever be thought to be thought of as a get rich quick because you, you literally see how hard I work at this, and you see how hard it is. And then I never say like, join and you're gonna make money. Join and you're gonna make a bajillion dollars, because I don't want you to have those expectations. Because most people are actually going to not do anything. So you see how hard I go. I'm up here three plus hours per day doing this system right here to find profitable trading strategies that I can run. But I'm here telling you that you're going to spend a lot of time researching and backtesting, researching, backtesting, researching, backtesting, finding profitable strategies. And you're going to be disappointed sometimes because this, the strategy, just because it worked in the past, doesn't mean it's going to work in the future. But if you do this process enough, you're going to find enough strategies that you can run in the future 
start them with small size and scale them up as they go. But if I'm running the exact same strategy as you are, and my trading size is 10, if, if I'm running $10 million through that strategy, and I'm running the exact same strategy you are, and you're running with a $1,000 strategy, it's eventually going to go to zero, and I'm going to take all the profits because I have the bigger trading size. So if you can imagine, like, there's 20 other people here. There's 20 other people. If we were all running size of $10 million each towards the same strategy, for example, like this same strategy, the exact same strategy, then it's going to zero. And that's why I think anytime you see like a website, like, like if I type in trading bot, it's going to say like, okay, well, it didn't. Crypto trading bot. You guys have all seen them. Like they promise you like 80% returns in a month or something like that. How, how this guy makes 4k per day. I mean, this guy's actually a good guy. He's just kind of clickbaiting and the thing. And I know I'll clickbait here and there as well, but I'm never going to put in numbers because I don't want you to think this is get rich quick. I don't want you to think that because it's, it's hard. It's the hardest game in the world, honestly. It's much easier to go like launch a business than to be a really great trader because you have to come up with really good strategies and you have to automate them. And how do you automate them? You have to learn how to code. So if you don't know how to code, then you're screwed. But I teach you, I try to teach you everything in the most transparent way. So, sorry, I know I'm ranting off this. It's just because that word transparency, like to say I'm not transparent, it's just it just hurts my soul. Hurts my soul when I've been up here for like, I don't know, 5,000 hours of YouTube videos for free. And the only product I do have is $69. Like you can legit go, it's a 15 day boot camp. You can legit go through it all and then cancel if you don't want to be part of the community and, and all the updates and whatnot. So yeah, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Uh, you know, I try not to market slimy. I'm trying not to like be like, it's so, it would be so easy. Like if I wanted to scale up this business, which I don't, I don't want to run a business. I've got enough cash to trade for the rest of my life and I'm going to keep building systems. So that's why I'm not like trying to grow this business. It's just every single day people are like, yo, where do I start from scratch? So I had to put together a boot camp that shows you from scratch. How do you automate your trading? These are the steps that I took. These are the resources I learned from. This is the code that I'm using and just trying to get you up to speed with me as quickly as possible without like trying to promise this is get rich quick because it's not a get rich quick. This is the hardest game in the world. But for me, that's the best game in the world because this is the way I looked at it. What's the worst that can happen? I learn everything about coding and algo trading. I learn all the secrets. And this is obviously written for you. You get all my code. The average developer salary is 100K plus per year. So it's like my risk reward for starting this journey a few years back was that. It's like, okay, I can learn how to code. And if I totally fail, then I can go get a job. But uh, you know me by now. I'm not getting a job ever. And the best case scenario has worked out. So that's how I look at it. Um, I would love to hear your guys's. I would love to hear your guys' uh, input on, on that. And like, if you ever feel like I'm, if you ever feel like I'm like going down the get rich quick route in my marketing, please call me out for that. I don't ever want to go that way. This is like work hella hard to have an automated trading system based off of your strategy, bro. So is your strategy profitable? I don't know. I don't know your strategy. I don't want to know your strategy. It can be easy. <laughs> Trading can be easy. I feel like this is the, this and the ugliness of my website are the two like, like bad parts, right? Like I try to not be slimy. It's just that I come from a world of, I understand what like people click on and stuff. So these big, ugly red buttons are much clickable, more clickable. Long story short, long story short, I'm just trying to stay away from that get rich quick stuff. And this stuff is hard, but it can be profitable. There you go. Um, I appreciate you guys. appreciate everybody here. Let me go ahead and answer some of these chats here. 
Trent says strategies make you money. Automation allows you to sleep and have a life not glued to your screen. Thank you, bro. That is ele that's an elegant way to say that. I'm gonna write that stuff down. You guys help me so so much. Um, the just like it's it's honestly one of my biggest struggles here is just like I get so many haters call me out like show your PL curve. Trading doesn't work. Trade trading bots don't work. And it's like, okay, that's fine. It's fine to believe trading bots don't work. But like don't discredit everything that I've like shown here just because I'm not talking about cash all the time. It hurts my soul, dog. It hurts my soul. Go ahead and tap that like button. Let's get up to 50 likes today because my soul's down bad. Keith says, if you watch an antiques trading channel and you ask the same question, what do you learn from knowing that the trader made $1,000 selling the table? It's true. Facts, facts. FS Trent says, anyone who is telling a viewer to use a specific bot with a specific strategy to multiple users is attempting to farm or attempting to farm from money, from their money. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Like, that's what I imagine is the people that sell bots that make X percent per year are literally counter trading those bots. And they're just farming you for fills. So just be careful. Don't ever, don't ever like never buy a bot, never buy a bot. That's my rule is don't buy a bot because number one, you don't know what's in it. You might get drained. Number two, you're going to quit on the bot. If it goes down, you're going to be like, Oh, it doesn't work. But guess what? If I built that bot and I know the back test works, then I won't quit on it because I understand there's a 50% drawdown or 40% drawdown. And if you buy a bot, you don't know that. So you end up quitting in that drawdown. It's never going to work. So I can't promote that. I can never promote that. And I never will. And I never, never, ever will. Now, what does that do for me? Like, since I don't lead with money and I don't guarantee that you're going to be profitable or anything like that, because I don't know your strategy. What does that do for me? That makes it so I can only sell it for $69. I get it. And that's, that's good. I don't want to build this business. If I were to, if I were to actually be like, yo, I've got these profitable trading bots and I'm going to, I'm actually going to give you, I'm going to give you mine, my legit bots that I'm running right now. And they're making me X dollars per day. I would have to charge you. Like I'd have to charge you like a half a mil. You see what I'm saying? I believe code is a great equalizer. And for me, when I set out on this journey, how to learn how to code, I kept churning because I didn't want to make no damn website. I didn't want to make a, a app and work for Apple. F that. I built apps in the past. I get it. I understand that business. That's fine. But I'm not going to sit there and code for, for Apple all day. Hell no. The only thing that got me to learn how to code was solving a huge problem I had. And that problem was I need to automate my trading. I must because I'm losing money because I'm chasing green bars and I'm selling into red bars or I'm missing the trade that I wanted to make because I was doing some other stuff. So I'm just trying to, I was just trying to solve that problem and now I've solved it. And now for 69 bucks, you can have every single step of the way to take that three and a half year process that I went through and turn it into like a, I don't know, a couple month process, I suppose, to three and a half years. So that, that that's the boot camp. That's the boot camp for you. It shows you absolutely everything. It shows you absolutely everything. So you can go ahead and put your strategy. TCSF, TCF, TCF, SAF says, that's why I'm here, Moondev. I just want to set up. I just want to set up that is automated. So I'm here to learn. I'm not a developer, but believe I can get one or two started through your teaching. So keep on keeping on. I appreciate you, TCF. And actually, TCF, SAF got me on this whole rant. He got me started on this whole rant asking to see returns. And I appreciate you saying that, man. I, I totally understand the question. And I think it just uh, opens up a door and it allows me to explain every once in a while, like why I don't do that slimy marketing and I don't lead with uh, money. I just, I just want to keep working, man. 
I just want to keep working because I'm not here. I don't know where you're at in this journey, but I'm not there. I'm not as good as this man. And I know I can be. So I'm just going to keep going. Strive for Greatness says the way you market is good. You don't make any monetary promises. You simply just say hard work equals results. Thank you, my brother. Strive for Greatness is, you know, his mindset's right. His name is right. RK says, I fully agree with you because you are helping to learn strategy, helping us learn strategies. Appreciate you, bro. Keith says, if you say join and make money and they don't, you are liable for mis-selling, etc. Exactly, man. And I don't want to go down that path where I promise something that, you know, I can't, I just can't control. Like, number one, how much work are you going to put in? You see how hard I go. Are you going as hard as me? Because I'm your competitor, legit. Like, you're learning from a competitor because I don't know, like you might be trading the same symbol as me and I might be on the exact opposite side and we don't know these things. I don't know your strategy. You don't know my strategy. I give you all of, I give you everything, but I'm not like, yo bro, run this bot at this time with these combinations. Anything I build, you see, I give you all my Lego pieces, but like, what's your mind going to bring them to? Wayne says, do you want to make $500 a day? So do I, but you're just starting. You won't. That's how I would, I would start my copy. Ooh, I like that. That's, I, I actually like that. I like that copy. Are you a, uh, you must be like a digital in digital marketing or something. I like that. I like how I, I was actually thinking about just changing my whole channel to be kind of like satire because I seen this video the other day. And it was so funny. It was like the worst trading bot. Uh, I gave X dollars to the worst trading bot in the world. And I think I'm thinking I'm going to start testing that a little bit and just like make all my titles. Like this trading bot bot will uh, lose you money 24 seven or trading bots don't work. Trading by hand is better, you know, and just be totally satire because then like nobody will like, uh, <laughs> you know, everybody will come in and be like, oh, snap, this guy's building stuff that doesn't work. <laughs> so I might as well not ask him about money. But then I'll actually show you stuff that like I'm literally spending my time on not saying it works or anything. It's just that it's, you know, you can put the pieces together. I think I might make a pivot, but Wayne, that's a good idea. Strive for Greatness says, I was already hand trading by myself and learning how to code from school. So when I found your channel, a light bulb went off. That's awesome, Strive. That's perfect, man. And that's like, I understand. Like, so this is what I do know. I understand how YouTube works. The people on YouTube, you and I are researchers. We figure stuff out. So a lot of people watching are traders that are like, oh, I need a, how to automate my trading. So it's not like I'm advertising on Facebook or something, trying to get random people up in here. You guys are brilliant. You guys are like a part of the 1%, right? Because you literally type this type of stuff into YouTube and research it, and you're searching for, for me. I'm not trying to find you. You found me. And that's, that's why I love this audience. I love every one of you so much because I know for a fact that you're going places. It's not like you saw a TikTok video. You're not scrolling on TikTok all day. No, YouTube is for researchers. YouTube is for the people that are going to change the world, in my opinion, because YouTube is just an encyclopedia of like everything. We can learn anything here. So I already know just from the platform that like, I want to be around you and I want to spend my time with you. So strive for greatness. I see why you found this, you know? Wayne says the numbers trigger them too well, too well in online marketing. Dan Tudor says, do you want a revamped website? Maybe. I mean, if you can make one that converts well, sure. That's the thing is like with websites and whatnot from the marketing world. It's like ugly and does well or beautiful and trash. If you can find a balance in between the two, that's great. I mean, look at this home homeboys. I'm sure you guys have all seen, uh, what's his name? Gosh, 
He is the the big marketer right now. The dude with the beard. Throw him in the chat if you know who I'm talking about. I can't remember. He's got the beard and he's all over the place. If you remember his name, he's got a beard. He's in marketing right now. And he's all over all videos. Big buff dude. I can't remember his name, but if you let if you remember his name, he's all over all videos right now on YouTube. Big buff marketer dude. Super strong. He's got a wife that's on videos too. If you know his name, let me know in the chat because that is that will go be behind my point of like ugly and converts verse verse um beautiful or not. Brian Aston says, as a member of the boot camp, I think it's incredibly valuable. I appreciate you, dude. That's so nice to hear. Because I, you know, I worked hard on it, man. Ezra Firestone, no. I know Ezra though. It's some other big buff dude. Got a big old beard, some hat, and wears a hat all the time. Anyways, he's a big marketer, and his website's super ugly, too. It's just because, like, some websites are built for conversion. Some websites are built for, um, like, brand, I guess. And this ugly website I got here is just built, built on conversion, like, you know. You get to watch this video. I explained the whole process. A little catchy headline. Click the button and you join. That's all that that's <laughs> that's that. And I give you all the information in between. But yes, I'm always looking for, you know, new new stuff. Uh, I just like connecting with you guys. And um, I know there's some brilliant minds. You know, the thing with traders is like we, we all we all like to turn one dollar into two dollars. So that means that we're all like interested in the same type of stuff. Right. And we're probably all in technology. And a lot of us are building businesses. A lot of us have businesses. A lot of us care about, you know, turning a dollar into two dollars. So we we're homies. You know, I'm friends with you, even though I've never talked to you before. Wayne said, what about the ML, ML stuff? We've done some ML here. We'll do some more as well. I've bought bots from Rob and you can get the source code. There you go. I like that. If you can get the source code, then then it's uh, it's a different game because then you can work with it, you know? Dan says, check out my WIP profile. Shoot me a Discord, bro. Shoot me a Discord chat. It's at Mundo. I like these, man. Keith, how, how to make money and become poor. Keep your money in a bank account and lose to inflation. I like those. That's some good. That's some good titles for my next videos. They're just going to be trolling from here on out because I feel like we have enough people. Like I'm showing enough people this stuff. I don't need to show the whole world everything. So we'll keep all the, keep all the haters out of here. Ezra Firestone, no. Who is it? I guess it doesn't really matter. If nobody knows who he is and it doesn't really matter. Okay, Wayne says he only gets AI stuff now. Alex Hermosi. Yeah, exactly. Alex Hermosi. Ozzy. All right. What's this? Okay. So shop.acquisition.com. Let's go to acquisition.com. I don't know what this shop stuff is. ugly ugly little website and tells you you get three you just it's a conversion website so it pushes you to what you need to do like you can either have a website that you can kind of browse around or a website with nothing you can't do anything here you can't do anything except pick one of these i want to sell my business i want to attend a workshop i want to start a business so if i want to start a business it just it it funnels you straight it's a funnel so, I mean, that's why my website's so ugly. <laughs> and I really don't care. 
I just, I don't, I'm not trying to build a business here. My business is building algos and finding more profitable strategies and running those. So that's where my mind's at be. Let's get back into this. I love chatting with you guys, but I always forget that I'm, I'm actually uh, building some stuff here today too. So we have this Solana scan and we're scanning the blockchain now, which is quite nice. Yeah, that guy. Um, he, you know, he's a he's a smart dude. Like when it comes to marketing, I don't know. Like, I don't like. I don't know. I like I like him because he kind of takes the same approach of not like he doesn't hype up the money and stuff because you know you can you can get off in marketing and like it's cool like you can hype up money like hey you want to make six figures a year then do this this and that and it's like sure you can go that way but in my mind that's kind of scammy and those those mofos go down eventually like um, it's just like sketch like don't don't over promise you know i like to i like to under promise and over deliver so you know i try not to uh promise too much on this here I, sure, I tell you, you know, you can automate your trading step by step, and I give you all the tools to do that. But if you're not going to do the work, you're not going to get any results, that's for sure. So, and then I, I make the price so low that it's like when you join and you see how much code and how many videos you get, you're like, holy smokes. I love this stuff. So that's what I try to do. I try to under promise and over deliver, and then I keep going hard. And showing you absolutely everything along the way. And when I find out new stuff, I update you. All right, fellas. I'm going to jump back in. So it looks like file one is... So file two is the entry point. So, so it looks like file two... Is the one I run, right? But my question is, why is file one also using if main, if name is main? How can both file one and file two be name is main? I don't just, I don't understand that because I have like two files here that are both running main is name so you're right and noticing that file one and two have if name is equal main blocks which might seem confusing at first let me clarify how this works and why both files might include the const this construct if name the if name equals main check is common python idiom what the f is idiom that allows a file to be run as a script while also being in portable as a module into other scripts without executing the main part. When a Python file is run directly, Python gets the special variable name to main, indicating that the script is the entry point of the program. If the file is imported into another script, name is set to the name of the file module, so the code inside the if name equals main block does not execute. The presence if name equals main in both files allows you to run file to import os etc directly to start collecting websocket data so run file to import os directly to start collecting websocket data when run as a standalone script it connects to the websocket and begins receiving and, and saving data this mode is likely intended for data collection phases where you want to gather and store raw data from the web socket. I'm sorry that I have to read. I, I know I'm a bad reader, so it's uh, probably not too pleasant to listen to, but I hope that inspires you that some some dude like me can do this, you can do this too. Run file one, import OS, so directly for processing the data that, that file two collected. When file one is run as a standalone script, it starts looking for new files in the designated directory pro in the des designated directory, processes them, and then deletes the files. This mode could be useful for processing and cleaning up data in batches after it has been collected. The ability to run both files independently, independently provides flexibility in how you manage the data flow. For example, you might run file two continuously on one machine 
and, or process to collect data and occasionally run file one on the same or different machine to pr process the collected data. Alternatively, you could have both scripts running concurrently in different processes or on different systems with file one processing data as file two collects it. In summary, if you use name equals main in both files, each file to serve a dual purpose as a standalone script for specific tasks, collecting or processing data, and as a module, as a module that can be imported and used by other scripts without executing the main section automatically. This design provides modularity and flexibility in how these scripts are deployed and used in your data processing pipeline. Thank you. So how do I go about running both of them at the same time on Visual Studio Code? Do I need to have these running on a server? I feel like it. I mean, if we have to run them both at the same time, I'll probably have to use screens. Running both scripts simultaneously in VS Code can be managed in a few ways, depending on your workflow and preferences, you don't necessarily need a server. You can run them both on your local machine if it's capable of handling the workflow. Here are a couple of methods to achieve this. Using multiple terminal instances, VS Code allows to open multiple terminal terminal instances within the same window. You can use this feature to run both scripts. Open the first terminal. Use the Use the terminal in VS Code to navigate to the directory, and then we want to run the first type Python file one. I'm going to change this to main two because this is actually, well, got to change this. Just confusing B. I think they were just backwards. Okay, so open the first file, use the terminal in VS Code to navigate to the directory containing your scripts. Okay. Run the first script, type Python file. Okay. Enter, run the script. Open a new terminal, click on the split terminal icon in the terminal toolbar. Or use Control S, Control Shift plus five to open a second terminal instance within VS Code. Run the second script in the new terminal. Type Python file two. Replace file two with a name. This way, both scripts will be running concurrently within the same VS Code window, allowing you to monitor their outputs in real time. Time, time. Two using the VS Code. I don't want to do it that way. So we're going to do it the first way. So let's get main one running here. See if it works. Login is not defined. Line six. Did I not import login? Cabroni. I'm too much of a noob, bro. I need some print statements. I need, I need them. Getting time, time, time. Getting WebSocket params, zam, zams. All right, let's run it, B. 
All right, sick. So it looks to be working. Super duper sick. And then now we're going to LS here. And we're going to CD into home homeboy. Scan soul, it's called. Scan soul. What you mean, dog? Scan soul. That's why. That's why my guy Python main two dot py okay. No problem. Where did we get this error? I should have run this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. I need to error fix anything first, and then I need add some prints too. So we can understand where we're at. Every time, every time I do something new, I put prints in so I can understand them, dude. Is it wrong? I don't know, but some coders don't like it, but I do. Because I'm just a noob. I'll always be a noob to those super smart dudes that went to school to Stanford or Harvard. I don't know. I didn't go there. I'm sorry. I'm not good enough for that. But it's okay because we're coming at Jim's neck. I don't know what school he went to. Let's see what school he went to. Cause me, I didn't go, I didn't go to Berkeley. Okay, he went to MIT and Berkeley. That puts a little bit of credibility on his name, of course, because the school you go to matters so, so much. So, so much, dude. Because it takes four to eight years out of your life. That's why it matters. Not because it's a dope school. I'm sorry if you went to a dope school. I'm sorry if you went to a dope school, but you are my competition now because I did not go to a dope school. I didn't learn this stuff at school, dude. But if I didn't learn this stuff at school, dude, then you can do it too, dude. Just every single day, come back to the live and I'll show you absolutely everything. We're looking for a safe read from JSON. Which I don't have. Which I don't have. I get, I get this error. Here is my code. This might be a custom funky funk. We need to, we might need to figure this one out ourselves, fellers. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat. I'll answer them every once in a while, dude. The error message you're encountering in import cannot be safe free from, indicates that Python cannot Find the safe read function abstract utility module. This could be due to several reasons. Incorrect module name. Abstract utility is a custom module you've created. Let's go ahead and take a uh, three minute break, probably three to four. I need to get some water. So if you need to stand up and jump around a little bit, please do. Let's go ahead and run this up, though, to 60 likes or 50 likes, 50 likes. It's just two of you. So I'm going to I'm going to go rehydrate and all that stuff. And uh, you can use the restroom because I know it's been a while um, and we'll be right back in just a couple minutes here. So stick around. Smash the like button if I come back and we're at 50 likes. I will stream for the full three hours today. I can't believe we've already been here for two and a half hours, dude. I'm going to go get that water.
Yo, what up, dog? Andrew, good to see you, bro. Andrew's checking in. Andrew's checking in. Andrew here this morning. Andrew's here. FS Trent's in here. FS Trent, I might need to delete that. It's a good call, bro. Did I spell abstract utilities right? Oh man, my mouse just died again. This thing is crazy. Apple need to fix that. Yes, I use the Apple mouse. I get it, I'm a noob. I'm a noob for that one too. But the thing is, dude, is I don't care. I like Apple. All right, so. I don't think this is an import. Safe read from JSON. This Python package is a collection of utility modules providing a variety of functions to aid in tasks such as comparison, list manipulation, JSON handling, string, Manipulation, mathematical computations, and time operations. The package includes the following modules. Compare utils. Okay, safe read. We're looking for safe read. Safe read from JSON. Abstract utilities. Check your pip version again. And pi pi page version you're reading. How do I do that? Let me go ahead and ask chat GPT. How do I check my pip version? So abstract utilities does have it. This one has it. <clears throat> so how do I put this in there? I hope that I don't get hacked here. Oh, which abstract utilities version? Thank you, bro. It's this one. Newer version available. Latest version. You're the best, bro. You the best. Oh. 3.8. How do you pip uninstall? It's just pip uninstall, right? So many tizzies. Okay, I'm gonna pivot uninstall this one as well. Oh, snap. All right, whatever. I think that should have actually worked. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Never mind. Never mind. Got it. Perfect. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, dog. That's why I share everything because you guys share so much of your knowledge with me. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Trent, Trent is my guy. Trent's up in the Solana Sniper group too. So I know he's sophisticated. Accept, got it right. Accept right, you dumb dude. What line though? Oh, it's actually on the other pairs. What line is it? 58? Okay. Let's see where I went in. There is no 58. Am I tripping? Does this says 58, right? There is no line 58. New pairs. This is weird. X. E X C P is what I wrote. E X C P. Dude, this is weird. Oh, maybe I yeah, I didn't save it. I was gonna say, gosh darn, that's weird. I just didn't save it. That's it, that's it. Brody, we done did it. We done did it. We done did it. We done did what we needed, dude. I think this is a wrap. This is a wrap, dog. A tang is up in this B. What up, bro? How are you, a tang? Where are you at, by the way? Your name. Your name is a tang. Let's see if I can figure out where you're from first. Where is the name a tang? from let's see if you're gonna type it first if i figure it out for south africa you from south africa yo your name is so sick a tang means multiply that's all we do around here is we multiply me times you dude dude every single day we are here and if you say one word in the chat you are on the list forever and i'll be checking in on you i'll be checking in on you because this is who I'm competing with. That's my guy. That's who I'm competing with. I'm chasing him. I'm chasing him. Every single day, 7 to 10, I'm chasing him. I'm going to pass him as well. I will. I will. I know this. Because he's not doing what we do anymore. He's got people doing it for him. That's opportunity to me, B. That's opportunity to me. So every single day... You put your name in the chat. If you say one word, I'm putting you on this check-in list. And every single day, I'm checking in on you. So if you don't want to be on the list, don't say anything in the chat. Because guess what? If you're on this list and I don't hear from you at 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern, you get blocked, B. You get blocked. <laughs> I'm the wackest YouTuber in the world because I'm not a YouTuber, dude. We build algos around here. Let's go ahead and get these both running now. So first off, I want to run one in this thing. Okay, it's running. Now we want to go ahead and say this thing right here. We want to go ahead and say LS. Let's LS real quick. Okay, let's CD real quick. What's it called though? Well, sir, it's called scan soul. Okay, are we in there? We in there like somewhere. Now we're going to say Python main2.py. If any of this is hard for you, join the boot camp. The boot camp shows you step by step how to do everything I know how to do. And if you know everything I do, dude, then you can do things way better than me because your mind is smarter than mine. I'm just a regular dude. You are going to be ahead of me no matter what. No matter what, because I did not have me. I did not have me to show me the way. If I did, I'd be ahead of me, but I'm not. So all I can do is give that to you. Everything I do, I come up here and I show you. I'm not here to just rewrite it for you. I'm here to figure it out with you. 
you and I, me and Trent, you see Trent just helped me out right there. That's because I'm just a regular dude like you. All the only difference is I got bigger goals than you. That's all. I got bigger goals than you. So how do you level that up? Well, you just roll with me. Just check in every day. Every single day. We got this Solana scanner now rolling. Rolling. Now I just got to figure out how to uh, get the data that we need. All right, so forget everything I've told you thus far, Quant AI. I have three, three files. I'm going to show you below. What I want you to do is let me know how to take the data that is found on on the Solana blockchain, which this does, and then put it into a DF in this and save it and into a DF CSV and save to this location. Let's say uh, data, let's make a little data location here. Data. Every single day, dude. Every single day. File one, let's give it file one. File two, let's give it file two. File three, let's give it file three. And let's call them differently. File three, we're gonna call it um, new pairs.py. File two, we're gonna call it what it's called. Call it what it's called. Call it like I see it. Main two dot py. And this is main dot py. Please output the code to save the new tokens to the DF and CSV and walk me through walk me through it step by step like I'm the dumb dummy that I am do every single day okay here we go so to capture the data from the Solana blockchain as described in your files and save it to the data frame and then a CSV file and the specified directory We'll need to perform several steps. These include processing the log data to extract the relevant information, creating a data frame, and then saving the data frame as a CSV. Let's walk through the process. Step one, extract relevant data from the provided code. It seems that Git WebSocket logs in new, pair, new pairs, processes the WebSocket logs, and identifies relevant transactions based on certain keywords, e.g. swap, transfer, etc. You would want to modify this function to not only process the log data, uh, process and log this data, but also collect it in a structure, format it, uh, format suitable for a data frame. Okay, I'll do that, dude. Step two, structure data for data frame. You need to create a Python dictionary or a list of dictionaries where each dictionary represents a row in your data frame. The keys of this dictionary would be the column names and the values would be the data points, for example. For example, for example. 
Okay, so data equals logs. Data equals that if logs found. Step three, create data frame. Once you have structured your data, you need to create a data frame. Ensure your, you have pandas installed, pip install pandas. If you don't have pandas installed, are you even a coder? Step four, save data frame to CSV. To save this data frame as a CSV file to the specified location used to, to CSV. Incorporating the new into new pairs. You'd modify the get web socket logs function in new pairs.py. Let's go to new pairs.py. We're there. I'm actually going to kill these for now since we don't have everything we need yet. But we are mobbing. We are mobbing. What a day. What a day we done had today. Jim ain't doing this. Jim's smoking cigarettes right now. Example code snippet. Here's how you might modify the WebSocket logs. Please output, please output the full new code for new pairs. Pairs.py and any other scripts that you may be changing. I'm about to go to the beach though. It is a beach day for me. I might go get a little workout in because your boy was up early today. Didn't go get his workout in. I think I'm about to go hit the beach after a little weightlifting because if my muscles are strong, my mind is strong. What are you about to do for the rest of the day, dude? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. What do you do on a Sunday? Me? I go to the beach, dude. any value what is all this trash get websocket logs save to csv associated pairs does it use that Log splitter. Let's say fill out. Do we do we need these functions? Do we need these functions? If yes, send back full code, please. I should have said please. I should have said please. Yo, the Super Bowl's on today. No, you're lying, bro. You're lying. Super Bowls today? No way, bro. Dude, I am so out of it. I'm so focused over here. I don't even know the. I don't even know the Super Bowls here. You start talking to yourself, saying, "Man, my my knee is really sore right now. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm doing too much." Negotiating. So the deal was already made. The deal was made. When I set out at the beginning of the summer and said, This is the training plan I'm doing. I signed that contract with myself. I'm doing it. The Taylor so Swift Bowl. That process, <laughs> Negotiable, baby. That's why we here. That's why we here on Super Super Bowl Sunday. This is the Super Bowl of I'll go traders right here. Moon Dev versus Jim. Yes, these functions appear to be necessary for the logic of your scripts, especially if they are referenced within the new pairs modification. Each function serves a specific purpose. Make list ensures that the input is a list. All right, that's looking better, Shorty. When I say I need something, you better give it to me in full, Shorty. You better give it to me in full before you get popped. Don't play me, dude. I'm going to actually save this because now we're 
changing things a lot. So I'm going to say this is the OG. I'm going to say new pairs.py here. Did we hit 50? Did we hit 50 likes? Oh, Rybear says 51 likes. Hey, Rybear, what up, bro? Good morning. San Francisco 49ers versus Kansas City Chiefs at 3.30 Eastern today. Smokes, B. I'm about to be in the ocean during that. I'm about to be in the ocean floating, thinking of ideas, because every idea I think about is alpha for me. And if it's alpha for me, it's beta for you. Because you're here, dude. And if I got alpha, you got beta. That's how it works, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, see how we run this. Make sure to replace the placeholders and dummy implementation with your actual business logic. What dummy implementation? Where'd you put dummy stuff? Okay, let's go ahead and um, where's this gonna save it? Saves it into the data file like we asked. Soul scan, data, CSV, so a lot of data. Okay, that should work. So let's go ahead and run main. And then let's do that little splitty split that we learned today. Look at that, every single day we learn something new, no matter what. And then we'll say CD cd scan i can't believe all this stuff is free on youtube god bless my soul god bless my soul because i give out all of my sauce every single day if i can't figure something out i go figure it out and then i bring it to you god bless my soul i don't know how long i'll be doing this for to be honest because this is crazy stuff i'll be giving out here for free on the youtube you want all the code you can join the boot camp if you don't know where you're at right now if you don't understand how to get started from scratch i told you i tell you the secret i told you i built 100 trading bots and this is a secret right here that nobody's going to tell you if you if you follow this process you're going to open so many doors so so many doors because you're going to constantly be researching strategies and back testing to see if they worked in the past if they work in the past, then you build them into a bot with tiny size so you don't lose all your money when it doesn't work in the future. But if it does work in the future, then you go ahead and you run it up, B. But what happens in this process, this is a secret here. This is a secret. You listening? The secret is, is when you're in this process, this loop of RB, 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 you're researching strategies, backtesting, researching strategies, backtesting. When you're in this loop, dude, guess what happens? You come up with crazy ideas. You come up with the craziest ideas, like the idea that we're working on today. We're scanning the soul blockchain in order to find new tokens before all of these apes can get into them. So we got ape fest over here with the bird eye. The bird eye is crazy, dude. Everybody on here is a D-Gen dude, and you know that too, right? This is a Solana blockchain. Everybody's getting loaded off of it right now, and that's cool. But I like to do it programmatically, so that's what we're building here today. And this is the secret. How do you automate your trading? Nobody else is going to show this information. Most people are going to jump to I and start building bots and trying to launch them to the market. So I wanted to make sure to tell you today the secret, and this is it. If you do this process over and over again, you stick to the R and the B, you're going to save so much money because you're not going to implement into a bot until you know it works in the past. And on this journey, you're going to open up so many new doors like this Solana scanner. You get everything, everything in the boot camp. The boot camp is show you how show it shows you step by step how to compete with Jim Simons, essentially. Essentially, bro. Essentially, the boot camp shows you how to compete with Jim Simons. Of course, it's a long path on the way. Very long path. And I will be here every step of the way. But we have done a lot today. I appreciate every single person in here. If you said anything in the chat today, you are on the list. Yes, you too, Rybear. 
We did hit 51 likes today. I appreciate every single soul that tapped that like button. No pun intended. You can see my stream is jamming up. That's because it's time to go. I'll see you in the next video. The next stream. If you're not here, you get blocked. Hope you have a wonderful day.